Hi, this is Dr. Evan Osar with Fitness Insider. We hear a lot about internal rotation of the hips, and many of our clients lack internal rotation. Many of our colleagues in the industry say that internal rotation is given for free. I disagree with that statement, because if it was given for free, we wouldn't have so many internal rotators of our hip, namely the anterior fibers of glute medius, TFL, the gracilis, adductor, vertical fibers of adductor magnus, all help internal rotation let alone vastus lateralis, not directly attaching to the hip, but indirectly will affect internal rotation, as well as the core. So we have a lot of factors that help us internally rotate, and we see the, the debilitating effects when we lose internal rotation. Most people will make it up through their low back, and they lack internal rotation, especially if you're golfers and baseball players, softball players, tennis players, but they'll also make it up for the knee. If you lack internal rotation at the hip, you'll get it from the knee and or the low back, hence a lot of knee, low back injuries. So I'm going to show you two quick, easy ways to, to restore internal rotation of the hips, which will help your clients get back to improving the symmetry side to side. I'll show you two quick evaluations. We'll do the straight leg internal rotation test. And you see Ellen's right leg goes into internal rotation, left leg not even close. You can see the difference side to side. Remember, the asymmetry side to side is what causes the majority of our injuries that leads up to these non-contact type injuries. Another way you can check it is up here at 9090 and again restricted. I would also confirm that, reconfirm that with a standing feet together rotation check test of the upper extremities or the upper torso and comparing how much your pelvis moves side to side and she would also look, lack internal rotation as she turns to the left. So let me show you two quick ways to improve that. First, foam roller, band, real high tech tools. So she's gonna squeeze the foam roller Put the band around her feet. Again, you don't need a heavy duty band. The band is just to give her a little bit of resistance. She, she's gonna do a slight adduction force on the foam roller, keep the core activated, and now just do 10 repetitions of internal rotation of the hip. Okay, go ahead. So do want to make sure she maintains core activation, make, maintains the alignment of the hip. She'll feel a little bit in her TFL, some of it in her vastus lateralis, some of it in her piriformis, which is also an internal ro rotator at 90-90. Perfect. Now I'm going to have you lie on your side facing that window. Done, we do clams quite often for the external rotators. We can also do a reverse clam to improve internal hip rotation. So she, Ellen will activate her core. She'll keep her knees together. We'll place a block between her knees just to level out her thighs. And now she'll do 10 reverse clams. Keep the core active. Again, we'll get more TFL, anterior fibers of glute medius, vastus lateralis. Make sure she maintains a nice stable core so it comes from the hip and not the trunk. Go one more. Fantastic. Go back on your back. Recheck her internal hip range of motion side to side. And you see it's still a little limited on the left side, but greatly improved, almost close to that of the right side. So we may just need to focus her on our core or do a second round of those ex exercises. It's not something you want your clients to do long term because it can lead to excessive tightness in the internal rotators, but to help restore internal rotation, sometimes we gotta focus on those guys. This is Dr. Evan Osar on how to improve hip internal rotation. Have a great day, we'll see you next time.